Here is a travel trailer made out of Lego bricks. It's only about 28 studs long. Here on the front we do have a propane tank with a leveling jack on the hitch. On the side, a fake awning. I still haven't quite perfected a working awning yet. Uh, you know, we have a door to get in and on the bottom we do have a step that does pull out. Here we have the exhaust for the stove and ventilation for the refrigerator. Here on the rear we got our bumper and our spare tire. Now if you want to you can put a sticker in the middle of this tile for a license plate. Here on the back we do have a spot for hookups. We have electric, water, and right down here we have a cap for the sewer. And this does feature one slide out. Here is a medium sized pickup truck that I built with the travel trailer. This is almost similar to my red pickup truck which I will have a link to the tutorial in the description. Here's a quick shot of the interior. And this can easily snap onto the ball hitch. So we'll just slip that right in place. Raise up our jack. As you can see, it does glide smooth on a flat surface. We do have some easy maneuverability. And when we're done, we can just unhitch this. Now this also will work with the dually pickup truck and the green SUV. With the green SUV you do have to remove the leveling jack to get it to fit underneath the tire but it will still work. Once we find a nice place to camp we can bring out our step and on the bottom here we do have some leveling jacks. So we just bring these down we just swing these out of the way. Keeps the travel trailer level. You can raise this part here up if you choose or you can just leave it down for extra stability. And we can raise up our TV antenna and rotate it for the best television reception. This trailer also does feature an air condition to keep the interior cool. I have a fake skylight for the bathroom and a few vents for the plumbing. The top does easily remove. It's only held in with bit of friction and two studs. I've always had problems with my tops working so that's why I had to fix some studs in the back. It's just very basic. In the interior the slide up does easily pull out. Here's the main living area, the bathroom, and a cozy bedroom. Let's take a closer look. Here is the main living area with an armless sofa and a dinette booth. I left the arms off the sofa to make the slide out a bit smaller. And on this side we have ourselves a small cozy kitchen. Complete with sink, stove, oven, and fake refrigerator. Never understood why I made refrigerators with opening doors. You really can't put anything in these campers. Now I had to put the TV right above the sink. It's the only place to put it. I'm not sure if I want to keep this here or replace these with cupboards. So there's the entry and here is the door to the bedroom and this bedroom is pretty tiny. As you can see there's not a lot of leg room around that bedroom. Usually these type of travel chairs you just crawl into bed. I could have put a slide out in there but I wanted to make this as small as possible more like an economy style trailer. So you can see there's just not enough leg room it's enough to crash for the night. On this side we have ourselves a small three-quarter bath complete with stand-up shower, sink, and toilet. I did use two 1x4x3 wall elements to give the bathroom a bit more space. I did put a light above the sink and yes I did use my paper shower curtain made out of a paper towel. I've been told that I could use capes but I don't have any capes in white and I don't think black would look really well in a travel trailer. All in all this model took about a week and a half to put together. Here's a close-up of the entry. 
pretty much that's all we can see in there. I hope everyone enjoyed the tour of an economy size travel trailer made out of Lego bricks.